Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse, a.k.a. BGFH. And I am back for another assistive technology spotlight video. Yeah, bringing the series back. Um, I just recorded a video for a desktop CCTV video magnifier, the Merlin HD I got hanging out over here. This time we're looking at a really popular portable handheld CCTV. Um, this and both of these I own. Um, I actually bought this uh, from our local, from one of our local vendors, um, twenty seventeen, mid mid to late twenty, um, like summer fall twenty seventeen. And we're looking at the Ruby HD XL CCTV. We got the box here. Uh, Ruby XL HD. This is a five inch, five inch screen. Oh yeah, it's got the faces there. Okay, so it's recognizing, that's funny. But uh, yeah, you see the little thing there. You got the box. And this is actually a uh, Freedom Scientific gig. I gotta say, I really do like some of the Freedom Scientific uh, low vision stuff. The Rubies have, for many years, have actually been a very good, uh, good CCTV. Um, so, in the box, let's see what we get. We get a label card thingy, I'm not quite sure. We get a user guide. Yeah, 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 you got faces. Shut up, voiceover. I took it out already, so you get the bubble-wrapped uh, ruby itself. And then you get, underneath this maze of plastic, <laughs> you get a little carry bag. Let's see, actually this cord is a micro-USB cable, which you can hook it up to like transfer images to a computer, if I remember correctly. I don't really use that feature, but you can do that. You have a little carry bag, not a not bad carry, little a little carry bag there, uh, inside of which is a <clears throat> lanyard if you so want to hang it around your, ne around your neck. You also get an AC adapter, along with tons of these little uh, cords or little plugs here. Uh, you get the regular US plug, you get like the European stuff. I don't even know where some of these plugs are from, but they're foreign, so hey, um, you, you get them. Um, but yeah, you basically just plug the modular thing, you just slide it into the uh, AC adapter, and there you go. That is what you get with the Ruby Hush. We're going to slide you over there. But we want the main attraction. You want this guy. Here is the Ruby itself. Um, I've used this a few times. I actually haven't had to charge it yet, so that's why the, the charger stuff is still in its bag. Um, because I haven't actually uh, needed to charge it as of yet. Um, now, the way this works is you've, it's a very, again, a nice, very simple device to use. Um, takes you all of, what, 10 to 20 seconds to learn how to use it. You have your power button on the lower left. You've got your green power button. Above that, you've got your two blue buttons, which are your, you can change colors one way, you can, and then you can change colors the other way. So you can go forward and backward, or backward, forward, however you want to say it. On the right-hand side, you've got your yellow plus and minus. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, bigger and smaller, zoom in and out. Then you have your red button here, which is your freeze frame. And that's it. So, let's grab ye old paper. We'll grab that uh, letter that we got. Now, the other cool thing is you can flick it up like this, you see how it's actually at an angle, you just flick it up, it turns itself on, and then, voila, let there be magnification. So, you can 
zoom in and out. Let's go down here to some actual text. I'll, see, I'll show you how big it. A five-inch screen. <laughs> oh, can I get the whole? Uh, no, I can't get the quite the full word alarm on there. So <laughs> you can get the text kind of big. Now this is not meant for distance viewing. It's close up, really only. Um, oh, the flash on my camera is actually making a nice glare in the middle. I apologize for that. Um, so I can zoom in and out. And again, as I said before, on the left-hand side, I can, there's your high contrast, your white background, your black, whoa, hi glare, how you doing? Uh, you got your black background there. And it's really freaking crisp, that's what I do say, it's really good. You got a, a blue background, yellow, you've got yellow on black, and back to full color again. And all you do is you just slide it across the paper. And remember in the other video, what did I, what, what test did I say to try? You got your white on black here. Let me zoom it in just a little bit more here. I can move this sucker. Well, okay, you move it really fast. It's going to blur up a little bit. But like you put this at a pretty good reading speed and it still looks very crisp. Very, very crisp. Um... The clarity of this, especially for reading text, is great. And it does a good job not just for flat items. Um, you can read, you know, boxes in the kitchen, bags, cans of soup. You can read medicine bottle labels. Uh, it actually handles the curve stuff quite well. Um, so you can read those types of things. It does a good job. And again, if I want to go backwards, it's going back the way I came. So you have kind of both options there, which I like. You can you know, go either way. So this is, you know, you're reading, um, you're not gonna read a book with this. It's meant for shorter tasks. You know, you wanna read a something, you get a handout in a meeting or a class. Um, you wanna read some mail, a business card. You wanna read, um, you know, something short. Now, the red button, we haven't touched on that yet. So, okay, let's, I got my uh, name that I focused on here. Let me hit the old red button. Freeze. I can pick it up. It's still on the screen, but we're not looking at it anymore. There's the paper. So, this is really handy, especially when you combine it with, let me see if I can, do, 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 do. Uh, let me flip it shut. And then I can flip the, believe it or not, there's another mode, a handle. It flips out from the back. So I can, you see I can hold it like this, it snaps into place, or I can flip it all the way behind, or I can flip it out like this. This is where the flexibility of the Ruby is really handy, and this is why in my, in my day job, this is why we recommend and people actually request and people like these a lot of these. So let me turn up when you close the, the thing, when you close up the little hinge there, it turns off. But so you got your battery level in the corner there. To, so I got full battery. Um, but again, I can so I can lay it flat on the paper basically in the the stand mode, or I can hold it a little bit above and still zoom in. And, it, and I even have it at an angle here, and it, and it still does a pretty good job. So the re, a lot of people love these because they're great for, you want to bring it to a restaurant and read a menu. You want to bring it to the grocery store or any store shopping, read price tags, pre, read labels. We get a lot of people looking for work who are, you know, going to do some sort of retail job. They need to read um, receipts. They need to read IDs. They need to read price tags, labels, um, <clears throat> anything like that. And, you know, like I said, you can hold it up. You know, you have the handle, um, which makes it easy to use. And it works, you know. Um, I, I use it for reading appliance dials. You know, if I need to read my thermostat, I can use my phone or I can use something like this. Before, you know, before I had my phone, that's why I really like these handhelds, because when I didn't have a smartphone, my iPhone here, 
Um, you know, my iPhone has in a lot of ways replaced the Ruby, but the, you know, I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute here too, but it, you know, the Ruby is still a really good device and it's, you know, it's, that's all it's meant for. Um, you can hold down the freeze frame button. You can capture so many pictures. I don't remember the commands, how to like sort through them and like, you know, you, you can save them and then call them up later. I don't really use that feature. I don't really show that feature too much unless people request it because a lot of people, again, they want something simple. They just want to turn it on, zoom in, zoom out, change color. They want to read and then go. Um, we've had a couple people ask, you know, and then we'll kind of, I, I got to remember exactly how it's done. But you, you know, you can store some images on there. Now you can also, let's go over to my computer. You can hold it up to my computer here. We got my Steam library going and zoom. Ah, Turok 2. And it's it's blurry because again, I'm trying to hold it. We have the glare of the light, we have the glare of my my phone flash. We've got screen looking at a screen looking at a screen. We got some uh, inception nonsense going on here. But overall it does work. Like this is my normal computer monitor. But you know, if I'm in a game where I can't use Windows magnifier, uh it works, you know, just like holding my phone up to it. I need to read some stupid options screen or some skill tree that they've decided to make like eight point, you know, four point font. It's like, oh, thanks guys. Um, my phone or something like the Ruby works beautifully for that. <clears throat> you know, or if you're looking in a BIOS and you don't have, again, you don't have um, magnification there. So, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can use it for. And like I said, we, you know, we show people a variety of these types of devices at work. And, you know, there's a couple other ones that people like, but as far as this size with the handle, you've got the stand, you've got the flexibility. And again, I can still flip it up like this. And then if I really wanted to, I could just take the handle and go do, 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 slide it across. Okay, that's really big. So I can just, there we go. So, yeah, I mean, there's really not a lot else to say. I mean, that is the Ruby XL HD uh, CCTV. Um, it's very popular where, where I work uh, when we do assessments with people and we have them try out devices. Uh, this one is very popular, especially for the... It's, it's big enough, but it's still portable. It's still easy enough to take with you. You can use your case and hang it around your neck if you want to. So you need, like again, you're working, we got people working in retail and they need to be able to help customers or read something, stock shelves, do whatever they're doing. Uh, a lot of people using it for that. A lot of people using it for school for short things. Uh, daily living stuff. So yeah, I mean, it's just a very versatile little critter. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's not really a whole lot else I can think of to say about it. I mean, the battery life, it does last about... I think they say around five to six hours or so. You've got a little, uh, uh, right there, you've got your little cord for plugging in to your computer. You got a little uh, LED there. And then you have, I think it's on the other side. I um, it's a little hard to do this one handed. Oops, I think, where the heck is it? Or did I, am I just stupid? Oh yeah, I'm just stupid. It was right by the uh, right by the LED there. Um, right, yeah. You have the little round uh, AC adapter plug. Plug it in for a couple hours. You got your you, know, you got it fully juiced up for the day. And like I said, you know you're not going to use this for an eight hour stretch. You're going to turn it on for you know two to five minutes. You're going to do what you need to do. You're going to turn it off again. And it doesn't take long to turn off and on. I said turn it off. Okay, turn it back on. One, two, three. Yeah, boom, we're in. So, you know, that's not bad at all. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that is the Ruby XL HD uh, CCTV. I would personally recommend it. This is, again, I purchased this myself. 
Um, I did not. Um, I did not uh, have anyone buy it for me or anything like that. I did trade in an older version of it that I had. A guy gave me a deal, um, but uh, yeah, I mean the retail price is I want to say like eight hundred bucks or somewhere around there. Uh, depending on the vendor, depending on like you know state contracts, sometimes people will get it through state agencies or something. But uh, retail is about I want to say eight hundred dollars or so. It it is expensive, um, but in some cases it can still be worth it. Like again, I use my smartphone. I use my iPhone all the time as a CCTV. Um, and for, you know, admittedly, some of the apps are not perfect. Even the built-in magnifier one isn't perfect. Where this is still really nice is that when you're using your phone, the thing is, is you got your, you know, you still have some focus issues. Like it, it takes a little while sometimes for the camera on your phone to focus in, or you might get some ghosting depending on, you know, some flickering depending on where your, um, what app you're using, what device you have, how good your camera is, that kind of a thing. You don't have a handle unless you get some weird case with like a tiny selfie stick. <clears throat> I hate that word. Um, but you know, or something as a handle. So, you know, you have that, but then like I said, this thing, you turn it on. Um, like I said, you slide it across it. You know, there's not a lot of flicker. There's nothing like that. I mean, it's just, the overall re refresh rate on these is actually really quite good. So there are, you know, there are still definitely use cases for it. Um, I did still buy one just because they, they are handy from time to time. And sometimes I even like having one around. Again, I have the handle. If I'm really doing some, doing some stuff and I can't, you know, I don't really use my phone, I've got it. So... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is the Ruby XLHD. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.